Um, question on, on Nexus 7. I have a first-gen 32-gigabyte Nexus 7, and I still run KitKat on it because I couldn't stand Lollipop, and I don't like any of the, the the newer versions as well, which don't run, from what I read, on, on older Nexus 7s. Anyway. You have the first generation, you said. I have the first gen. Yeah, yeah. And it constantly, the, the launcher constantly crashes after quitting certain applications oh, and yeah. these are mainstream apps is there a fix for it is there a better launcher yeah or? well the first thing i would the first thing i would do is absolutely try a different launcher and there are many one of the best things about android is you're not stuck with that launcher you know with apple you're stuck with the springboard which hasn't changed since 2007 or very little changed since 2007 so i like the idea that if you want a different look you can get it i recommend and use nova launcher nova. There, there's a free version google has its own launcher uh, the Google Launcher. And since you haven't updated, you're probably not using the newer Google Launcher. You can download that on the Play Store. Okay. Um, th there are lots to try. There's Apex. Uh, but I would try, before you try anything, try Nova. I use Nova on my Nexus 7 second generation without issues. And will that, will that solve the crashing problem where the screen is all blank after you... Literally all the icons are off the screen. The screen's blank for... It might. 5, 10, 15 seconds? I would try it. I mean, there are other issues because you're still on the oldest operating system. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the things, I had the first generation Nexus 7 as well. One of the things uh, that happened with the original one is it got very slow yep. because Android in that generation didn't have trim. It wasn't able to keep the SSD inside f sped up. And I did w notice a massive improvement when I went to Lollipop. So... Mm. It might. Uh, here's what I do: try Nova, see if that fixes it. Uh, the other thing you could do is do a system reset. You know, where you erase everything and start over. That almost always will help. Something like that. Yeah. And if and if neither of those work, you might want to bite the bullet. And uh, what don't you like about uh, Lollipop? Or actually, I guess you could go to the, the latest Marshmallow now. Um, I I just don't like the the, the GUI interface. It, it, they changed it too much, and there's a lot of things that are missing that that okay. were there in four point four point four. Fair enough. Um, our Chandra in the chat room says there is trim support in four four four. So, I guess uh, whatever it was, the original operating system it came from came with, which may not have been KitKat four four four, didn't right. didn't have trim. And I noticed when I upgraded to I guess four four four. So you must have upgraded a little bit. Yeah, it came with, it was the last of the first gens, and it had 4.0 on it. Okay, all right. So you're using 4.4.4, so that did uh, apparently fix that trim issue. Um, so, yeah, just put a different launcher on, see what happens. Apex is very lightweight. Uh, Nova Launcher may be a little bit less lightweight. The nice thing about both of these is they have a lot, a lot of configuration options. You can change the size of the icons. You can change the look. You can use different icons. So if if you have a cosmetic, you know, you have a way you want it to look, you can make it look that way. Right. Well, one thing I read was that the problem was that uh, the original launcher and some of the other ones don't have uh, the function of remembering where the icons are on the oh, that's dope. desktop. Yeah. Do you rotate it? Is that part of the problem? Is it you go from landscape to portrait a lot or no? Mm, no, not a lot. I use it mostly portrait. Yeah, the older versions of Android had trouble with that. Yeah, uh, and and reformatting. I would say, I would say, go, uh, uh, go, go, get a different launcher. And there's, they're, they're all free. You can buy, you know, paid versions of them that have more features. But get the free versions and try one. There's also very simple ones. Microsoft makes one now. There's a ton of them. If you just search for a launcher on the Play Store, and that's one of the things I love most about Android. It really, you can do what you want. Yeah, I agree. And don't, yeah, it's, they're saying you can't get to Marshmallow on that first generation. So. Um, st stick with what you got. I don't, I don't see any urgency on that. Yeah, I agree. All right. Okay. Hey, thanks for the... Uh, yeah, they're saying that uh, Apex uh, is very good uh, for keeping track of icon positions. So maybe try that one first. I, I, Apex is very, is as far as I'm concerned, very good. The one issue, the one issue you get into with Android with not upgrading is security. Uh, for instance, you probably still have st the stage fright vulnerability. You can actually download a little app from Zimperium, Z-I-M-P-E-R-I-U-M. It's free that will check for that vulnerability. If that's the case, then you want to want you know to protect yourself. You want to turn off automatic downloads of MMS content. The stage fright vulnerability. Stage fright is the media playback subsystem in Android. It still is. Has, has new vulnerabilities, by the way. Uh, and Zimperium discovered 
that by sending you a malformed MMS message, that's a text message with, with multimedia in it, you know, a picture or whatever, by sending you a malformed one, you, they could actually crash your system and maybe even get into your system and, and mess with it. So that's fixed in all version, modern versions of Android. If you have, if you're going to stick with an older version of Android, then you really do want to uh, turn off automatic download of MMS and only download MMS messages from people you know. What you'll see in your Hangouts probably isn't an issue on a tablet, but what you'll see on your, in fact, I've come to think of it, well, maybe it is, because Hangouts does support MMS. So if you have Hangouts and you've tied it to a phone number, then that's what you need to do. The nice thing about the, that Google's done lately, in fact, I'm noticing, I'm just updating you brought this up, so I fired up my Nexus 7. And uh, what Google do, does now is, an, is a monthly security update, kind of like Microsoft does, you know, monthly patch update. And I just got one. They're not very big. This was 11 megabytes. It's installing right now. Um, that's good. And that comes directly from Google. And I do believe for that to work, you need a fairly recent version of Android. In other, in other words, older Android, Dane, risky. Newer Android, much better. <laughs> Leo Laporte, simple enough for you? The tech guy.